he moves ahead with his experiment, testing the theory that life improves over time. If your temperament remains open to change and challenges. I'd say I'm in better shape now than I've been in my whole life. And it's just because I'm more aware of, of my body and, and now I'm, I'm not just surfing, you know, like my everyday thruster. I branch out and I ride different surfboards and I'm actually in the water probably more. What's wrong with this picture? Absolutely nothing. Except it runs counter to the common conception of what success means. Rob Machado is winning at his own game. Not being on tour kind of opened those doors just to like, hey, go ride anything, everything, and experiment. And it's opened my mind a lot, a lot more to surfboard design and, and uh, how to ride a thruster better. And that's really what's exciting about it. Every day you wake up and you look at the ocean and there's a different surfboard for every single day. It's just like, all right, what do I get to ride today? A lot of times, you know, we, we like to mess around with different boards and we like to trade and we've been doing it for years, you know, it's, it's kind of funny and cool to see what other people are riding. We're all on different boards. Rob has a new stand-up board everybody, like, paddles and stands up on, which is pretty crazy. I tried it, it was pretty hard for me. Kelly had a four fin, that was pretty fun, tried that out, and um, my twin fins are real, a groovy, groovy board. <laughs> In the last, like, seems like five years, like, quivers have just grown immensely, and it went from being, like, long borders and short borders, and, like, there's almost, like, this weird rivalry to now it's just, like, ride anything. In the early 1900s, Duke Kahanamoku rode his 15-foot paddle board to Waikiki shores. These days, boards are lighter, efficient, and more responsive, constantly redefining the sport. But nothing has had a more immediate impact on surfing than the 